Look over here at this integral, indefinite integral. You have x plus 3 is nested in a dx integral, which is nested again in another dx integral. How do we compute this? Start from inside and work outside. This is what I have, integral of x plus 3 dx. When you integrate this, it's easy, it's polynomials. You have x squared over 2 plus 3x plus c. This will become now your integrand of your next integral around, which will be exactly this. Now we're here at the second integral. I'll integrate this. What will it be? Well, when you're integrating it, you'll have here x cubed over 6 plus 3x squared over 2 plus c. I'll say c1x plus another constant has come out, which will become nested in yet another dx integral, which brings me right over here. Let's integrate this. I will have over here x to the power of 4 over 24 plus 3x cubed over 6 plus c1x squared over 2 plus c, I'm saying here c2x plus another constant of integration, we'll call it c3. This here is our end result of this triple integral. x to the 4 over 24 plus 3x cubed over 6 plus c1x squared over 2 plus c2x plus c3. The only way you can determine these c values right here is you'd need to know some of the conditions which are involved with whatever experiment or phenomenon this is associated with. Then those would give you these values based on your initial conditions. This right here would be a correct answer.